Imagine one day when you are on an airplane and enjoying your flight, then suddenly from the window, you see the engine start to fire. How would you feel? Well, this is something that actually happened to a flight of Japan Airlines on December 4th. So what went wrong? Is this either the first or the only case? And what are the lessons? Let's find out in this episode of Flegavia. But before we start to help us improve our channel, please hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet so that we can build the channel together. Thank you so much. Now, let's dive in. JAL Flight, JL-904. First up, let's find out what happened with the flight back then. On December 4th, 2020, flight JL-904, operated by Japan Airlines, or JAL, took off from Naha Airport in Okinawa at approximately 11.45 a.m. local time. The aircraft, carrying 178 passengers and 11 crew members, was expected to complete a routine domestic flight to Tokyo Haneda Airport. However, within minutes of departure, the crew reported significant engine trouble. Specifically, the issue was with the aircraft's Pratt and Whitney PW 4074 engine. Shortly after takeoff, passengers and crew heard a loud bang followed by visible flames and smoke emanating from the engine. The aircraft began to vibrate heavily, and the cockpit crew received multiple warning signals indicating a serious malfunction. The pilots quickly declared an emergency and communicated their situation to air traffic control. They were given immediate clearance to return to Naha Airport. The flight crew, led by the captain, executed emergency protocols with precision. Despite the terrifying situation, the crew's training and experience were evident in their calm and methodical approach. The pilots shut down the affected engine and assessed the aircraft's condition. Given the severity of the engine failure, Maintaining altitude and speed became a significant challenge, but the crew managed to stabilize the aircraft on one engine. Within 30 minutes of takeoff, the aircraft made its approach back to Naha Airport. The pilots skillfully managed the descent and landing despite the compromised engine and heightened stress levels. The airport's emergency response teams were on high alert with fire trucks and medical personnel ready to respond. The Boeing 777-200 landed safely at 12.30 p.m. local time. The aircraft rolled to a stop on the runway and emergency services quickly surrounded it. Passengers were evacuated via standard procedures without the need for emergency slides, as the aircraft was not on fire and there was no immediate danger. No injuries were reported among the passengers or crew, highlighting the effectiveness of the emergency protocols. After the incident, JAL decided to retire its entire fleet of Boeing 777, 200, and 300 aircraft powered by PW4000 engines as a precautionary measure. The number of Boeing 777s grounded by JAL was 13. This included both the 200 and 300 non-ER series planes. The grounding lasted until the airline decided to retire these aircraft from its fleet in March 20th, 21. So what exactly happened with the engine? Following the incident, an immediate investigation was launched to determine the cause of the engine failure. Initial reports indicated that a fan blade in the Pratt and Whitney PW4074 engine had fractured, leading to a catastrophic failure. The Japan Transport Safety Board, or JTSB, took part in the investigation to provide a comprehensive analysis. The fractured fan blade was sent to a laboratory for detailed metallurgical analysis. And on September 29th, 2022, the JTSB issued their final report on the incident, determining that the serious incident was caused by the fracture of the left engine's fan blades during takeoff climb. This fracture led to the detachment of engine parts and cowlings, causing damage to the aircraft from the scattered debris. The JTSB found it highly likely that the fracture began with a nodule that formed on the fan blade's internal surface during manufacturing which then developed into a crack. This crack went undetected in subsequent regular inspections, ultimately resulting in a fatigue fracture. The JTSB also suggested that the inspection methods and intervals were inadequate for detecting the defect in the fan blade's filler region, contributing to the oversight. Lessons for airlines. But is this the only case where engines suddenly exploded in flight? No, it's not. The incident involving flight JL-904 was neither the first nor the last engine failure experienced by a Boeing 777 powered by the PW-4000 engine. Nearly two years earlier, on February 13, 2018, 
United Airlines Flight 1175, a Boeing 777-200 registered as N773UA, suffered a severe engine failure while flying from San Francisco to Honolulu. At approximately 36,000 feet, the right engine, a Pratt & Whitney PW 4077, experienced a fan blade separation, resulting in the loss of the engine's inlet duct and fan cowls. The crew immediately declared an emergency, shut down the compromised engine, and safely landed the aircraft in Honolulu. The National Transportation Safety Board investigation revealed that the failure was caused by a fatigue fracture in a fan blade, which had been missed during previous inspections. Similarly, on February 20th, 2021, United Airlines encountered another engine failure with another Boeing 777-200, this time registered as N772UA. Again, the failure was attributed to a fatigue fracture in a fan blade. The cascade of engine failures in Boeing 777 aircraft equipped with PW4000 engines has been a wake-up call for airlines, especially for those that are still operating this aircraft type like United Airlines, All Nippon Airways, or Korean Airlines. Then what are the lessons for airlines to integrate into their operational protocols? Foremost among these lessons is the pivotal role of enhanced inspection protocols. The adoption of advanced technologies such as thermal acoustic imagery has become instrumental in detecting hidden cracks in engine components, particularly fan blades, thereby significantly bolstering preventative maintenance strategies. Consequently, airlines have intensified their maintenance routines, embracing a more rigorous approach that prioritizes the early detection of potential issues, ensuring that minor problems are addressed before they escalate into full-blown emergencies. Moreover, the incidents have spurred a re-evaluation of engine designs, prompting modifications that include the addition of debris shields and the reinforcement of engine inlets. These modifications aim to enhance the engine's ability to contain failures should they occur. Concurrently, there has been a renewed emphasis on crew training, with airlines recognizing the critical importance of preparing flight crews for emergency situations. The safe outcomes of the past incidents can be directly attributed to the crew's adept handling of the crises, underscoring the value of comprehensive and ongoing emergency response training. Furthermore, the incidents have underscored the necessity for strict adherence to regulatory directives. Airlines have been reminded of the importance of staying current with the latest safety regulations issued by aviation authorities, ensuring that their operations meet the highest safety standards. Additionally, the engine failures have prompted some airlines to reevaluate the viability of their fleets, with many opting to modernize their aircraft with newer, more efficient models, thereby mitigating the risks associated with older engines. Advice for passengers. And by the way, for our dear passengers out there, it's essential to know steps to ensure your safety in such unlikely event that a flight encounters issues. Firstly, it's crucial to remain calm. Panicking can make the situation worse, and it's important to remember that the flight crew is trained to handle such emergencies. Maintaining composure allows you to think clearly and follow instructions. The next step, obviously, is to listen attentively to the crew's instructions. The flight attendants will guide passengers through the necessary procedures, so it's essential to focus on their directions and avoid distractions. If the situation calls for it, you may need to adopt the brace position, which will be demonstrated by the crew. This position is designed to protect you as much as possible from sudden movements or impacts. Furthermore, securing any loose items is a practical measure to prevent injuries from flying objects. This includes items in your lap, those stored in the seatback pockets, or any other personal belongings. In the event of a change in cabin pressure, oxygen masks will deploy. It's vital to put the mask on as demonstrated in the safety briefing, ensuring it covers both your nose and mouth and to breathe normally. Lastly, in the rare case that an evacuation is necessary, prioritize exiting the aircraft swiftly and safely, leaving all personal items behind. This helps to ensure that aisles and exits remain clear for all passengers to evacuate quickly. Throughout the ordeal, staying informed through announcements or by calmly asking the flight crew for updates can help you understand the situation better. By following these guidelines, you can contribute to your own safety and that of others around you. Well, of course, aircraft are equipped with numerous safety features and incidents are exceedingly rare, but being prepared can make all the difference. And that's all for today's video. 
If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe our channel for more aviation information.